I was not planning on dedicating an whole episode of the podcast to the shortcomings of the South Korean media and culture in comparison to other developed countries. Instead, I have simply hoped to give an observation of the Korean pop industry from the perspective of someone who has found interest in this music genre amidst its rapid ascent to mainstream attention. You know, in fact, I was not planning on speaking on any particular or specific controversy. But you see, as of now, in 2024, the Korean industry has seen one suicide and the witch aunt of a BTS member whose name has been smeared so very bad. You know, getting into K-pop, I have seen the case and I've heard about the case of um, K-pop idols Guara and Suli, were former members of some of the most popular girl groups in South Korea at that time committed suicide after facing criticism for their personal and artistic choice. And please note they were grown adults at that time. They suffered from malicious effect of online hate comments which was targeted at them for their choices. They were both victims of a modern day witch hunt by the media based in South Korea. You know, I thought after the death of Suli and Ara, their deaths would have incited a wake-up call for the country. He called for better awareness of mental health, for, for effective actions against cyberbullying and hate crimes, and also recognizing the thin line between journalism for accountability versus journalism for witch hunting. But here we are again with another suicide case and witch hunts in progress. You know, as a person working in the journalism space, I know journalism holds a very critical role in the society, being the watchdog to uphold the principles of truth, transparency and accountability. However, the line between responsible journalism aimed at holding power to account and sensationalism that bears into which hunting can sometimes block. The distinction between these two forms of journalism lies in their intent, their method and the impact on the society. Accountability journalism is grounded in the ethical responsibility of journalism, in the ethical responsibility of journalists to inform the public and all those in power responsible for their actions. That is the true essence of journalism. This form of journalism operates on truth, fairness, research, investigative reporting, a commitment to public interest, a commitment to showcasing the abuse of power and injustice that, that might have been hidden from the public eyes. We've seen instances of such in the K-pop industry where the media reports on corrupt CEOs who are extorting people and another instance we, where we really saw the true effect of journalism in South Korea was the Burning Sun scandal where reporters really put their life on the line to really fish out the truth of the whole situation. But in contrast, journalism for witch hunting is characterized by sensationalism, a disregard for accuracy and a focus on inciting public outrage rather than informing. This type of journalism often relies on half truths, like half big truths, unverified claims, wrong CCTV footages, and a drive to create scandal and drive narratives that are not grounded in fact. Journalism for which hunting is just for clickbait, to boost ratings, attract attention, and just serve specific agendas that are not true. So what journalism is I'm, I'm sorry to say this and this is very rampant among the south korean media houses there are two cases i will talk about about which hunting i have seen the first one i'll talk about is tableau of epikai he said he was he graduated from stanford he had his bachelor's and his master's degrees from stanford and there was a witch hunt on him at that particular period of time even his family actually really suffered a lot during that period of time and the funniest thing was that stanford actually backed up his claim with certificate and proof of attendance pictures were shown but the witch hunt actually continued till we die down that's one case i saw when it comes to witch hunting and another case ongoing right now is the sugar case sugar of bts 
Sugar case is not responsible journalism. It is not accountable journalism. Nobody is wanting to hold him accountable because they are all looking to which on him to actually confess to something he did not do. This whole case of um, Sugar's e-scooter driving incident has been such an high opener for me about the South Korean media and how they really operate. Like it's a, like a deep dive for me. So what do we know about this case? This case has been a case of fake fabricated evidences with JTBC bringing out the wrong CCTV footage after weeks of circulating that CCTV footage we saw the real CCTV footage I think the situation right now is not about Sugar's drunk driving on an e-scooter which I even did not know was a thing in Korea it was against the law in Korea right now I did not even know about it like it was funny to me when I heard that they have a law against that even riding on an e-scooter when drunk or maybe when intoxicated can be punishable by law i did not know about that i'm just knowing like it's an eye opener for me but but the relentless witch hunt by the media on this issue has really shown who they really are to to international fans even to south korean fans and the international media in pop in, in general this witch hunt was crazy like i was actually expecting facts from them not fabricated lies to the extent of um having to take this case to the prosecution it's like it's really mind-boggling how this whole situation came to be this witch hunt was really not needed and another one okay i've had another example to it example that a lot of people have been hope i'll talk about the parasite actor who committed suicide too after his personal issue was brought to life and the media speculated about this. Wow, it's really crazy. This man was tortured mentally and psychologically till he gave up everything. He just thought, why not just, like, I don't even know what the man might have even been thinking to actually think of taking that step to just commit suicide and let everything go. It should show you the way this witch hunt by the South Korean media has really affected a lot of people who would rather give up the ghost than continue living. I am not crying to boycott the media, but it is rather a plea for South Korean media to recognize that their ways of doing things, their attitude towards reporting is wrong. It would be a very difficult transition to change from their normal witch hunting to the correct and right journalism. But they really need to call themselves to order. If this is the way people are perceiving the South Korean media and the way you treat your celebrities, who did not do anything wrong? They, they made a mistake. They didn't commit the crime. They made a mistake. But that does not mean you relentlessly haunt them till they, till they think of letting it all go instead of facing reality. Please, it's time that the country and media support I think it's time the country and the media support their progressive industry with the right attitude towards reporting rights and cooperating so that it is all going to be so progressive for the country. Why would you report and which aren't a person to the extent that a person will consider committing suicide as the only way out for them? Please think about it. This is wrong.